Now, the very last topic here is what happens to creatine and phosphocreatine after we've used it? Well, it turns out that both creatine and phosphocreatine, PCR right there, can cyclize in a spontaneous reaction into this molecule called creatinine. They have the same product. Now, this reaction is non-enzymatic. This, this is a spontaneous reaction that occurs without any enzyme, but it is a degradative pathway. So both of these molecules can be degraded and cyclized into creatinine. Okay? Now, it is more spontaneous, or let's say kinetically favorable. It's more kinetically favorable for phosphocreatine to cyclize to creatinine. As we see, 2.6% of those stores are cyclized per day. Whereas for creatine, without the phosphate, only 1.1% of those stores are cyclized into creatinine per day. But in any case, what happens to that is the creatinine is exported out of the skeletal muscle and the brain. Don't forget creatine is also used in the brain, but we don't focus on that here. Creatinine is exported into the blood where it's shunted back to the kidney and it's excreted in the urine. So creatine doesn't really have a, a long you know, degradative pathway where we can get something out of it. No, it just spontaneously cyclizes in the skeletal muscle into creatinine. It's exported into the blood, ultimately to the kidney, and eliminated in the urine. Okay, and so the only way to replenish the creatine is obviously, if we go back here, is the body has to synthesize more of it and export it to the skeletal muscle, or you have to get it through the diet. And it turns out um, that about 50% of creatine in the average person is, t is uh, synthesized de novo through these pathways right here, and about 50% is dietary, okay? And it turns out that creatine, unlike uh, the vast majority of supplements, um, creatine for exercise as a supplement, which you can buy in the store, is one of the only truly supplements that is proven to work. So it turns out that creatine supplementation actually works. You can actually get your phosphocreatine stores above that of the average person without a supplement by intaking phosphocreatine, which operates by this principle. So if you intake creatine, more and more of it, you're gonna make this delta G overall more and more negative, and that's gonna force the reaction towards phosphocreatine. So it turns out that it's actually proven, and you can look up the papers on this. I think I'll even provide a link to one of the papers in the description below, but it turns out that if you supplement creatine, it actually is proven to give you more phosphocreatine in the skeletal muscle. And that actually serves to facilitate high intensity exercise like powerlifting for longer durations than you would see without supplementation. All right, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications.